ווין לייק, רביעי לשמיני, 2015, בעיר אלבסטר. היי מייק. היי. תל אס אבאוט ווין לייק נייבוהוד. ווין לייק זה נסטאבלס נייבוהוד אלבסטר, large lots, it's got a community lake, uh, walking trails, um, it's been, it was developed in the mid 90s and the sector we're looking at, there's 24 lots uh, available and so, uh, and then we'll have the option on the rest of the neighborhood also, but as you can tell, it's very well kept and just a beautiful neighborhood. Uh, you've got some brick, solid brick homes, you've got some that are siding homes, but uh, the architectural look of the neighborhood is great uh, as you can tell they're bigger lots uh, even the garden home section we're looking at has wide lots which gives you a lot of space and a lot of flexibility on what you can build the other thing about being in Wind Lake is it's close to the schools and with Alabaster bringing in the school system uh, about a year and a half ago that is at homes near the schools are in huge demand. We're seeing just a huge influx of people coming into Alabaster wanting rental homes as well as homes to buy on uh, like retail market for primary residences. So, um, but you can just look around from the video and you can see how much pride people take in their homes here. The yards are good, they're landscaped. Uh, people really take a lot of pride in what they're doing. seen in terms of sales in Alabaster? Uh, we, uh, we've seen a, a huge increase in the number of sales as well as the prices. Uh, one, one experience we've had is just in Wisteria, our other neighborhood that we're building in, you know, one home that we sold for $269.9 uh, less than a year ago, same size home we're selling for about $315 right now. And so there's been a nice surge in the market on pricing and that's why being able to get these lots is, is huge because it gives us the ability to build and be in alabaster for a long period of time and have the lots locked down uh, and have a project that backs up to the lake and just just to have an established neighborhood that you're building the next sector in is great as far as like especially like renters wanting to move to alabaster they don't they want to live in a nice family home like a good four bedroom home or five bedroom home and they're willing to pay for it you know we're seeing rents in in the range of anywhere between 1800 to 2200 in that price point so it's a it's it's a very nice area i actually just tell you a story about alabaster uh, my chiropractor and his wife um they were so impressed with the football program, they pulled their child out of the private school that my children go to, moved from Hoover to Alabaster so their child could play, play for the this coach down here because the coach is so well renowned. Um, and this is somebody who's been, had their child, uh, three of their children in private school their whole lives. So that kind of tells you the caliber of what the city's doing and what the school system's gonna be like. They're building a $4 million sporting complex right now that is gonna be state of the art. In Alabaster. In Alabaster, yes. And it's it's just a, it. this is the, if you're looking at the boom that's happening, this is gonna be a boom down here because it's like what Hoover did 30 years ago when they took their school system in house. It just, it pushed the market way up and made it highly desirable for people. And they're looking, people are looking at that and they're building the new high school, which is supposed to be just phenomenal. Is there research on what happens to real estate once a city takes over from the county? I believe we do have some research on that. I read, and I think you and I, we, I think we, I'm trying to remember if it was something I showed you or a while ago. I think Thank over you. the first